Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Choplifter HD. Well, this is a classic, isn't it? The original Choplifter's been around for God knows how many years, and this is a remake of that particular game by a company called In Exile. You may know who they are. They made a game called Hunter the Demon's Forge, and they also made a game by the name of The Bard's Tale. So what the hell they're doing remaking Choplifter, I have absolutely no idea. But apparently they even got the original designer of Choplifter to consult on this remake. So I think it's one of the many, many remakes of classic games that are coming in. And as I think you can probably tell by the menu, this is very much an Xbox Live Arcade style game. Because all the menus are exactly the same for this. So we'll have a look and see how the PC version is. So settings, by the way, are pretty much all done through a launcher, and all you've really got there are resolution options, not anything else actually changes there. There are controls. You can, in fact, as you can see, rebind them. That is always a good thing. You use gamepad or indeed mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard works absolutely fine for this game. So let's check it out, shall we? Let's have a look at Shoplifter HD. Now, I played through the first couple of tutorial levels, but I do want to show you this one because a lot of it doesn't make a lot of sense. Plus, it'll also give you an impression of what the hell is going on or not going on in this particular game. Plus, I didn't get a full score on this, so it would be nice. Alright, so you do have a choice of helicopters. There are not exactly all that many choices of helicopters, as you can see here. But they do vary in terms of, obviously, weaponry and things like that. And they're going to vary depending on which mission you want to go in. The ultimate helicopter, the Navajo, a.k.a. Apache. Yes, they evidently did not license the designs, but they nicked it anyway. Black Hawk, Raven. Yes, and I don't even know what that is. I can't really remember. The Cop Chop. This is actually a... It's a police helicopter. I'm not really sure why it's giving me this. Especially considering the mission that I'm asked to do here. Find prisoners of war and destroy military targets in a police helicopter? What? Okay, so we have a dozen or so it's... soldiers that need a ride home. A dozen? This is a chopper, not a clown car. This is going to take a couple of trips. Wow, okay. Voice acting quality going on right there. Why am I in a police helicopter in the middle of a war zone? What the hell? That doesn't even make any clue. sense. Smile for the camera. Get me out of here! I'm famous! Help me! Land that thing! But try not to mess up my hair! No. It's me! Scoop Sanderson! God, you Nobody are annoying. The Recorder hair. on board. I'm not 100% sure why they have you save this guy. I think he seems to be a bonus objective in every mission, from what I can tell. I have no idea at all as to why. It's part of the kind of weird humor. I'll get your autograph later on. There is some very weird humor going on in this. You get these little... Shut up! God, he is irritating. Why can't I just gun him down? Can I gun him down? Will he let me... Well, is he going to let me do that? Okay. Open fire! Ah, that's so... You're irritating as well. I don't like you either. Launch the missiles. Okay. Now that those guys have been taken care of, let's get a move on. <laughs> Why would they make him the bonus objective? N Seriously, nobody, and I mean nobody, would want to keep that guy alive under any circumstances. He is an annoying tit. I mean, good lord. Why would you want to keep that guy alive? I think it, it's telling that they have to give you rewards in order to stop you from shooting the guy. In my opinion, they should give you a water flattening him. Ugh. It's me, Scoop Sanderson. <laughs> oh, I want to just kill you in my rotor blades. Why can't I not do that? Yeah, you know, Chop Slaughter HD. That would be a wonderful remake. Or at least have a Chop Slaughter mode whereby the sole point is to kill Scoop Sodding Sanderson. All right. And these guys are annoying as well. Ugh. Civilian in look, the chopper. Look, seriously, I, I'm here. I'm right. Look, look. I, I'm right here. You seem so desperate to escape. You can't be asked to walk the five meters to get to me. Get, get in the sodding chopper. Wow. You know, I, I decided it would be a great idea to make a WTF is while I had a headache. That was a stupid thing to do. Where the hell did he come from? I thought I killed all of the foreground targets. Yes, I would think so. He's riddled with bullets. Thanks, Captain Obvious. All right. Let's make a move and at least land these guys. If you land too hard, by the way, you kill the guys on the chopper. So you got to be fairly careful. Oh, why did they make winning so painful? Why? It's like you rescue some guys and they all yell at you simultaneously, giving you a migraine. I don't want to rescue these guys. I want to kill them. Also, the co-pilot or whatever gets very sarcastic when you fly your chopper into the ground usually 
he's not doing so now. Okay, let's, let's give it another try. Oh, great. We get closer to those guys. He's, he's not Your doing it. Open, right? There you go. He also whined about me texting at one point, which is actually kind of funny, I suppose. Yeah, they did add something of a sense of humor to it. You might notice that there's this interesting feature whereby you can turn into the foreground. That, as far as... I don't remember that being in the original chop lift, but I tell you that for fine. So there is a bit of gameplay mechanic innovation going on right there. Unfortunately, it, it seems like killing things in the foreground for some reason requires way more precision than killing them there. I, I could just sort of gun down in the vague direction and I'll, I'll, I'll kill it without a problem. But something in the foreground seems to take a lot more accuracy. I'm not sure why. Also, the minigun overheats after you shooting for one and a half seconds. And this is a chopper, not a battering ram. Yeah, thank you, Ugh, Sergeant Sarcastic. Right. I just don't want to accidentally kill this bunch of dudes. I was there last time, but you couldn't be asked to come to me. How wonderful. All right, let's try and gun him down again. He's like, I think you've got to have your laser sort of exactly on the guy. Otherwise, you simply can't hit it. Uh, it's just, I don't get why it's harder to hit them in the foreground than it is in the 2D plane. That's kind of weird. I'm not really complaining. I mean, the difficulty isn't particularly high. It's easy enough to get it by practice. It just seems there's this weird inconsistency there. And I'm not sure why. All right. Can you shut up now? That would be wonderful. The annoying thing is it probably isn't going to give me all of the stars because I decided to gun down Scoop Sanderson in cold blood. In my opinion, it should reward me for that. Look at that. Look at See, I get, I lose 2,000 points. You know what? I don't care. It's fine. I will wait till the next mission to get my next helicopter, quite frankly. In fact, we're going to say spend as much time as possible hurting Scoop Sanderson. All right, let's do it. Okay, next mission. Here we go. It's interesting that companies should consistently decide to reinvent these games. Atari's actually really bad for this. They do that all the time. Once again, I am in the police helicopter rescuing wounded soldiers. God knows why. All right, so it's introducing me to the last mechanic, which is the idea of fuel Good and boost here. Yeah, it does, kind of, I suppose. It's like, hey, he's dead. Indiscriminate slaughter. That's pretty funny, right? That looked painful. I'm sure it did. Now, shut up. <laughs> I would actually prefer if these guys never talked Real at all. Sorry about that. And I think you can turn the dialogue down to zero. I would probably recommend that. All right, there we go. He wasn't gonna make it. Get in Thank here. Goodness, you came Medical along. team, be on alert. Injured man on board. Uh, I have to ask. I I must ask. Is this deliberate? <laughs> Is it a deliberate choice by the designers, by the company, to make the worst voice We're acting I've heard in ages? Off. We're fine. Quit whining. There we go. All is good. Done. You just saved a human life. Yes, I did, and it didn't involve finding Scoop Sanderson, so I'm feeling even better about myself. Uh, actually, what annoys me is I didn't manage to kill Scoop Sanderson, but we'll be okay. Okay, cool. We've unlocked new campaign missions and so forth. So this game boasts a wide variety of different environments and mission objectives. The mission objectives kind of... Well, there's two things. Either you rescue prisoners and bring them back, or whatever, or you just kill everything. The killing everything doesn't seem all that interesting. The whole point of Choplifter is to, well, lift. <laughs> That's the whole point. Guess we're rescuing some more POWs, aren't we? From a Middle East, a oppressive Middle Eastern regime. While we make ridiculous comments. Also, why the hell is an Airwolf in this game? You want to explain to me why Airwolf isn't here? Could they not license Airwolf? I want Airwolf. Oh, apparently there's a slightly upgraded version of exactly the same helicopter, so I guess we're using that one. Why isn't... Well, there's actually quite a few Airwolf games, funnily enough, but I don't think any of them were any right, good. Here we go, the first day of the rest of our lives. Yes. Let's just hope it's not a short day. I'd actually prefer it to be a short day, because I wouldn't have to hear incessant twaddle. Sort of the background details quite nice in this game. It's not a bad looking game, it's just not particularly good looking either. I mean, it, it is sort of an Xbox Live arcade game. And, in Exile did have a publisher at one point. It doesn't have for this game. This is self-published, so it's just something they kind of threw together. I'm not liking look at that one little bit. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> it's cringeworthy. Also, you can slaughter chickens, by the way. Shut up. I was trying to kill the guys. I don't want to... Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. You can actually just kill all the guys here, and then eventually they will go away. And yes, by the way, you can slaughter chickens. <laughs> and that will give you bonus points. God knows why. Maybe they're just taking some cues from Fable. Alright, get in here. 
Pilot on board and A-OK. -okay. We'll have to come back. We're out of room. Yeah, nobody likes you. Go away. Onward! Chalk up another one. Yeah, I just... Uh, how do I describe this game? Distinctly average. I like the fact that they have put a little bit of innovation into the mechanics and they just haven't completely remade the game. It, and it's it's still kind of the fun choplifter that I remember. I always like the mechanics of choplifter. The same reason I like the mechanics of Defender back in the day. I'm not really sh help you out. sure if the rest of it really does it for me. The fact that everyone is incredibly annoying and constantly yells at you isn't particularly good. I'm certainly not a fan of the voice acting that is insufferable for the most part. Right there, bad guy. What a I'm, shame. The, the combat is okay, but I feel that the foreground mechanics gun. don't quite, li right quite work as well eyes. as they should, honestly. It's just like... You who needs a lesson. There we go. Is that dealt with? Should probably head over in this direction as well. I have to wonder if there's anyone over here. Maybe it's Scoop Sanderson. I'm hoping Scoop Sanderson is actually not in this level, because otherwise I will gun him down. Mercilessly, I might add. I think also the real problem with something like Choplifter is that Choplifter was always very repetitive, and their attempts to diversify things don't seem to have helped all that much here. Oh, go away. See ya. I suppose in a B-movie kind of way, the voice acting is kind of cute. Oh, the reporter's there. Oh, he's still there. All right, okay. I guess we'll pick him up later or gun him down in cold blood. I I'm going to go with the cold blood option, I think. Let's use the boost and preferably not run out of fuel. Yeah, I I'm about to turn dialogue off completely because it is awful. So bad. But yeah, aside from that, the game offers a fair amount of arcade fun. I think it's about 30 levels in it. There's a few helicopters to unlock and things like that. No multiplayer option as far as I can see. There's also a couple of unlockable modes, a hard corner, some kind of survival or challenge mode. <laughs> That's been, you're a true hero. Slaughter all of them. Can I, can I, oh, I can't kill that guy. I can kill everybody else. <laughs> I am the worst choplifter. Uh, but I don't know. I, f I find it hard to care about these guys. They piss me off so very, very much. I, it got in my way, damn it. Aha! You see, the trick is fly over or around. You see, the trick is shut the hell up, and then I won't throw you out of the helicopter. Your eyes are open, right? Oh, wow. The, the water is actually solid. That's impressive. Oh, dear. Yes, and trust me, I just don't want to live anymore. <laughs> I've seen enough Choplifter HD, quite frankly. Ugh. You know, it's sad when a game that is shut up, mechanically sound, for the most part, you know, the, the shooting isn't particularly good, but it's okay. It's worse in the foreground than it is on the ground. It's mechanically sound, it's got a good concept behind it, it's a classic concept, and it's remade in a fairly reasonable fashion. Pisses you off so much because they... They just felt the need to force feed you this ridiculous, horrible B-movie humour with a constantly annoying co-pilot who will not shut the hell up. Not only that, but the bonus objective is even more annoying than the main guys. Like, you, the more points you get in this game, the more you have to actually tolerate. You rescue the prisoners, they're irritating. You rescue the cameraman and the stupid self-absorbed press guy, he's even more irritating. I don't want to rescue these guys, I want to throw these guys off a bridge. Ugh. Oh my. This game gave me a headache. That's really, really sad. Trust me, if you want to try and enjoy this game, turn dialogue off. Go, go, to, go to options, go to settings, find dialogue and turn it to bloody nothing. Because then you might actually enjoy the game. For what it is, it's pretty solid. I'm not convinced that I really want to pay the price for it, though. I really don't know if this is actually worth the price. 15% off currently on Steam at $12.74, eight pounds or nine euros 50, or something along those lines. Ugh. I don't know if it's worthwhile, honestly. I really, really don't. It's a shame that this is what In Exile decided to do after Hunt of the Demon's Forge, which wasn't a bad game, all things considered. It had its problems, but it was fairly reasonable. 
This remake is not especially good, honestly. They, they didn't really innovate too much with the concept. They didn't make it interesting. You want to see a good remake? You look at the original Battlezone and then see what they did with Battlezone and Battlezone 2 Combat Commander. Now that is a remake. Oh, wow. Yeah. But this is kind of the new school Atari style remake where they take a game and they don't really make it all that interesting in any respect. And yeah, that they haven't done enough with this to really keep me interested and they've done far too much to piss me off. Ugh. My name is Total Biscuit, taking a look at Choplift for HD, currently available on Steam right now, as well as 360 and PlayStation 3. I'll see you next time.